This time, we will explain Boyle's law through an experiment. Shown on the screen are a syringe and a scale. The tip of the syringe is sealed with a rubber stopper. The cross-section of the syringe is circular, with an inner radius of 7.5 millimeters. The syringe is now filled with 10 milliliters of air. Now, I will push the piston of this syringe to the 5 milliliters mark. The force of my hand pushing the piston is now keeping the volume of the air at 5 milliliters. The value fluctuates due to the force of the hand, but the value on the scale is approximately between 1800 grams and 1900 grams. Meanwhile, the value displayed on the scale can be theoretically calculated using Boyle's law. When the piston is pushed in to keep the volume of air in the syringe at 5 milliliters, assuming that the temperature of the air in the syringe is constant, Boyle's law states that the product of the pressure and volume of the air in the syringe remains constant. Therefore, when the volume is reduced from 10 milliliters to half that, 5 milliliters, the pressure will be twice the original pressure. Specifically, if the original air pressure inside the syringe is atmospheric pressure, 1013 hectopascals, the air pressure inside the syringe after the piston is pushed in will rise to 2026 hectopascals. The air inside the syringe then pushes the piston upward. Meanwhile, the air in the room is at atmospheric pressure and pushes the piston downward. Therefore, when considering the balance of forces on the piston, we can see that the difference between these two forces is the magnitude of the downward force applied by the hand to the piston. And it is thought that the force from the hand is being transmitted to the scale. Now, let's actually calculate the theoretical value. The magnitude of the force the hand is exerting on the piston is equal to the force exerted by the air in the syringe on the piston minus the atmospheric pressure force, which is the cross-sectional area of the piston multiplied by 2026 hectopascals minus the cross-sectional area of the piston multiplied by 1013 hectopascals. Doing this, we get a theoretical value of approximately 18 newtons. Dividing this value by the acceleration of gravity and converting it to grams gives us approximately 1.8 times 10 to the power of 3 grams. Therefore, combining the measured values from the experiment and the theoretical values obtained using Boyle's law, we got the following result.